Welcome back to this YouTube series that I'm doing based on my book called Seasons. You don't need to buy the book to join in with this series and you could start the series whenever you want to. The title of today's discussion is Surely Goodness and Mercy. And no, that's not a typo on my part. So I want to share a bit of my testimony with you and I wanted to center around the time when I had to spend my 10th summer in hospital because I had to have extensive surgery done on both my feet. One Wednesday night, when I was particularly bored, two ladies I had never seen before walked into our room. They invited anybody who wanted to join them to come to the recreation center and we would have Sunday school. Well, I grew up Catholic and my friends who were Protestant went to Sunday school and I was always curious as to what that was and it was Wednesday so what was this Sunday school doing on a Wednesday night I had questions and I needed answers so I found myself in the recreation room and these two sweet ladies entertained us with Bible stories and we colored and we played 20 questions and and I just remember it being an awful lot of fun I'm not sure whether they prayed with us, I'm sure that they did, but at the end of the night, one of the women sat in front of a piano that was slightly out of tune and taught us a simple course based on Psalm 23, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I really enjoyed that night and I could hardly wait until the following Wednesday. And again, we sang songs, we colored, they told us a Bible story, we played 20 questions, and we sang that course once again. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That was my last Sunday school class. Although those two ladies never saw me again, they had a profound impact on my life. And I am saying this with no exaggeration, I believe that the hope that they brought me saved my life. When I returned home from the hospital, things got a whole lot darker in my family situation. The seeds that they planted in my heart took root, even though I didn't own a Bible, even though the only prayers I knew were the formal ones that we prayed in the Catholic Church, and even though I didn't realize that God was keeping his covenant with me, I know his hand of protection was over me. Not only did he save my life on many occasions by getting me out of dangerous situations before things really went south, but he also brought along my way light bearers who carried his light and hope to me when I was completely overwhelmed by life circumstances. Again, these people probably have no idea of the impact that they had on my life. They were just simply obeying the promptings of the Holy Spirit to share a certain word at a certain time. Not only have these people impacted my life, they've impacted the lives of thousands of others, people who have read my books, people who might be watching this video, people who I ministered to when I was on the mission field, I would have never been able to bring the light and hope and grace of the Holy Spirit into those people's lives if somebody had not first shared that hope and grace and love and redemption with me.